Now, the official Suncoast weather with ABC7 meteorologist John Scalzi. Again, showers and thunderstorms in the forecast for this afternoon. Currently, as you step out the door, you've got 75 degrees with a dew point of 71. We're down a degree or two on our dew point value. Calm winds currently. Watch them turn west this afternoon, though, as we build a sea breeze once again. 76 in Wachula, 76 in Arcadia, 76 in Mayaka, Parish, Bradenton, 77 Lakewood Ranch, 76 degrees as well in Northport. 73 Punta Gorda, double 78s in Venice and Inglewood, and the hot spot. This morning, Longbow Key coming in at 82. So the showers blossomed yesterday. Boom. Becky and Mayaka, as I mentioned, got an inch of rainfall. Many places got more than that. Lots of lightning around. That boundary now moved out into Gulf waters. It's not coming back today. It will spark probably a shower or two during the mid-afternoon hours close to the coastline. But it's later in the day when we're likely to see showers and thunderstorms bloom in inland areas, Hardy and DeSoto, and then gradually drift to the coast. High pressure, the dominant weather feature, again located to our north and to our east, providing us with that easterly wind flow or southeasterly wind flow, colliding with our sea breeze in the afternoon in inland areas. And then, as that sea breeze collapses, the showers and thunderstorms are pushed back out into our Gulf waters, where they'll stay by tomorrow morning. Strong storms possible again this afternoon. The biggest threat from our storms today is going to be the, the, the numerous lightning strikes, as well as some gusty winds possible to could do some damage, plus torrential rainfall at drive time home tonight. So watch for ponding on roadways. Again, a good reminder, I mean, it's worthwhile mentioning, I think, that you can hydroplane your car with just a little quarter inch of rain sitting on the, uh, on the uh, pavement. West movers, again, building in inland areas, drifting back toward Gulf waters. And then a high heat index this afternoon, again, with a daytime high topping out probably around the 95 degree mark. That's been fairly consistent over the last several days. No reason to change it. And a feels like temperature probably up around 108. Future RPM computer model shows those showers in inland areas, drifting back toward the coast. That's on the books for today. Tomorrow. Probably about the same thing. Showers and thunderstorms building inland and then gradually drifting to the coastline Saturday. You can pretty much count on that as well. Two hot spots for severe weather today. The northeast, where an area of low pressure will be, and a frontal boundary clashing with warm and dry air uh, in the uh, plain states, creating the potential for uh, perhaps some larger hail as well as gusty winds, maybe even some tornadoes there as well. So if you're traveling to those two locations, there could be some airport delays. Our thunderstorm risk is for the potential of regular thunderstorms. But there's always a possibility that one of those regular thunderstorms could uh, develop into a severe thunderstorm. We have a, a lot of dry air out in the Atlantic that's really just eliminating the chance for any kind of tropical development across the region. So if you're taking a cruise this week, beautiful. Absolutely great. We're looking at uh, southwest wind at about 10 knots. That'll bring you a light chop with two footsies. And the official Suncoast forecast calls for a 50% chance of rain right into the weekend. Maybe some drier air next week. Back to you.